Hello guys, and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a firm or soft rigged OUYA. I soft rigged mine a while back and broke the Wi Fi firmware, and this is the strategy I used to fix it. It has been working flawlessly ever since. Now, the first thing you're going to need is the Android Development Kit. It's available on the Android Development site. The link will be in the description. Download the SDK, agree to the terms 64 or 32 bit, depending on your computer. Click download it will download. Now, head over to computer, open your local disk, extract the zip from the SDK here. It will give you these three in this folder. Open your SDK manager. Now you need to install tools, the latest version of Android, and extras. Agree to your licenses and install. As soon as that's finished, completely installing you may close the manager, open up your SDK folder, and make sure Platform Tools is there. After that, you need to head over to Environments. Start typing Environments in the search bar and it will come up. System Environment Variables. Do not go with User Environment Variables. Click on Environment Variables and head down to Path. Edit this. You're going to need to add the path to your Platform Tools folder with a semicolon right before anything else you've got there. Don't mess with what you already have there. You'll either break Java or you'll break the command prompt. Just do exactly as the video shows and you won't have a problem. After that you can OK all the way out and close this folder. Now the next thing you're going to need is drivers. This will be the second link in the description. Yes it is Nexus 7 drivers. Yes they do work perfectly fine for the USB drivers. After installing these you're going to need to go get the firmware. Now, this is not only firmware, it is the OUYA's OS itself. You're going to download the latest version. It really doesn't matter which version because it will update itself when you turn it on anyway. But download a version. I already have one downloaded, so I will just use my download history. Drag it out onto your desktop. Now as soon as that's done, you're going to need to start your OUYA into recovery mode. This is fairly simple. Get a USB 2.0 keyboard. You're going to have your fingers ready on the Alt and Print Screen key. Some of you have an SYS key if you have a Linux-based keyboard. Power on your OUYA while holding these keys. Every three seconds after powering your OUYA on, hit the I key. This will kill the bootloader and force it into recovery mode after four or five times. Just do it every three seconds. The power light will turn off for about a second and then flash back on. This is when it's booted into recovery. You can take your hands off the keyboard and let recovery boot up. Now you're going to install from sideload. It may be worded differently, but install from sideload is the base structure of how it's going to be worded. Click on that, and it will tell you it's waiting for a sideload. I would suggest renaming your firmware update to rc.zip. Now, as soon as it's waiting, open a command prompt. Type in ADB to make sure it works. You should get a ton of lines of code. That is a help menu. After that, type in ADB devices. My OUYA is not personally hooked up, so it will not show a device, but it should list your OUYA if you've done everything correctly. After this, you're going to do ADB sideload. This is just a test to make sure it works. It will show you your lines of code. As soon as you've determined that it works, go to the directory with your rc.zip. Mine is on the desktop, so I'm just going to do CD desktop. Now, I'm going to type ADB sideload rc.zip. Do not forget the .zip or it will not know how to open it. As soon as that's typed in, you hit enter. It will attempt to send the packet to the OUYA. Mine will not work because I do not have an OUYA powered on. Your OUYA will receive this package and install this update. It may ask you 
for permission, something along those lines. If it doesn't work, you've done something wrong. Go back to the recovery menu, clear the cache, wipe the hard drive, and reboot again into recovery, and try the sideload method once again. If it does work, it will either tell you it's successful and return you to the menu. If it does this, create a backup. And then reboot. If it doesn't, it will reboot on its own into Ouya. There you go. You've got a fresh installation of Ouya. All your information is gone, but you're no longer soft bricked. I'm sorry to you guys who this tutorial will not help. But this most definitely helped me. So good luck in your endeavors and have a nice night.